Hello everyone. So I decided I was going to do a general reading. I was already set up uh, for some that I recently did for my Patreon. Um, we did a fun uh, choose your own adventure reading in which you chose a crystal and then ultimately you choose the general reading that you receive. So I'm just gonna do a single reading here, but if you're interested in more of the creative readings um, and you know choosing your own adventure, hop on to my Patreon, hop into a subscription. Um, they start as low as $5.55 and you can get weekly and monthly collective messages. Um, you know, and then I do daily card pulls as well as there are certain little practices and extra little tidbits that we do, even live Q&A, live streams, um, access to my uh, monthly healing circle called Resource Points in which we all kind of facilitate, co-facilitate and uh, hold space for one another. Um, you know, just looking to build community in new ways. So feel free to join me on Patreon. I'd really love to have you and inter interact with you there. Um, it's, it's, I really, I'm really enjoying that, that platform and that space, um, and doing some really interesting things on there as far as, uh, the work is concerned. Uh, otherwise, you know, feel free to interact with me one-on-one. -on -one by booking a service with me using the link in my bio or just donating because um, it helps continue um, the free content that I post up for everyone, um, which is always much appreciated. So uh, starting off, I hope that you all are feeling a little bit lighter um, and becoming more kind of attuned to some of the energies that, have, that we've been exposed to lately. Um, I know that uh, Venus is um, last day in retrograde is tomorrow. I was just talking about it with a friend, so very excited to see where that takes us, and um, what kind of you know what kind of lessons we've learned, what kind of you know new wisdom and insight we've gained in terms of the ways that we love and how we view love um, as we move forward, so we can in, in, be more playful about it um, and, and play with that concept of love in ways that can really transform and enhance our lives um, individually and collectively. So first card out we have here is the taming power of the great, self-discipline, concentration, strengthen your character from within, self-awareness, and realizing potential. Um, and I'm really drawn to the bamboo in this one, um, in this card, because it is such a strong, um, very st structurally sound, like building material, and it grows very quickly. It grows like grass. And I feel like in some form or fashion, if there's something that you've been kind of getting some inklings on, you, something that you could change or be doing that offers you um, a little more strength of character, you'll be su surprised about how quickly it takes off um, and how quickly you end up kind of acclimating to whatever um, change you end up enacting at this time. Uh, so let's pull another card. Interesting, we have Lilith, the first woman. I am the voice of my body and soul. I choose the life that I desire to live. I love that. I love that. So yeah, it's going back to kind of something taking off, some type of change that you're making that is actually really in honor of you and in honor of what you need at this time. Lilith herself is the original woman before Eve. And one thing that I love about Lilith is... Um, She's, she's not as, as civilized and tame as Eve was, and she really thinks for herself, um, a real um, kind of do-it-herself type of spirit, um, that beautiful kind of dark feminine that we talk about. And like, honestly, I don't think any type of feminine is dark, but if we're speaking from like a linear, you know, dual nature type of perspective, she is this dark feminine and that it's about breaking down certain structures, certain forms, um, and really getting down to the substance of what is. And I think part of what we're changing and what we're being called to change is understanding um, the substance that is our sustenance instead of um, the forms that appear to be such and which can be, which can be hollow and, and unsustaining and perhaps um, structurally unsafe for the long term. So, um, yeah. Pull some more cards here. 
And I love like that heart light emitting from Lilith too. I think that's really beautiful. Okay, first card we have out is humor. I choose to live on the lighter side of life. <laughs> we have this laughing Buddha, I love it. Um, so again, heart energy. I was just talking about the heart light, lighter side of life. So keeping things light. Perhaps um, maybe we've been expecting too much out of ourselves and that's where some of this, um, this energy comes in and having to, you know, perhaps lighten up the soil, lighten up the um, kind of the foundations that of, of what we're trying to build of what we're perhaps trying to grow from within us, um, like aerating the soil, so to speak, before we put some seeds in, or perhaps to let the current seeds that we've um, planted allow them to sprout a bit easier. Perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. And damn right we can. <laughs> and one thing that I've realized that I really like, because um, here we have um, this hex... Um, hexagonal um, shape and one and like kind of like a, the Merk Merkaba and one thing that I really noticed and really um, kind of lean into as far as the Merkaba goes one reason that is such a powerful uh, vehicle for uh, energetic vehicle for us is because in a way because you know it's two triangles the masculine and feminine one coming together to create the shape of the Merkaba and so it's us um, kind of using triangulation from the above and below from the two two realms the human realm and the spirit realm um, to really locate where we are at any given point to really locate ourselves um, to to check in with our surroundings and surroundings and how we behave in relation to our surroundings that way we're, wherever we go we know who and where we are where we are within our journey within our progression within our soul's journey um and so being able to kind of persevere and figure out where we're at and where we're going um because when you think about about it a map is not really telling you where you're going it's telling you where you're at okay Next card out is friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. So perhaps there's someone new that's entered your life or someone who has been around but perhaps is taking kind of a new new role in your life or perhaps you're taking on a new role in someone else's life. You've been called to reach out to someone in some way and have found that to be a really beautiful, um, and it's funny, I pulled up this, I put this deck down and I realized there was a card still sitting there on the floor. Trust, I accept that my inner voice always guides me correctly. So perhaps it's someone that you're maybe prompted, um, there's an inner prompting to reach out to them, to perhaps connect with them, and I think that that's part of your work right now and that perhaps maybe you two are kind of going through the same things and can help each other out in some way uh, during this period of time. Um, there's some communication that can go on that could be really, really beneficial to both parties, um, I feel like, at this time. So, yeah. Um, okay, let's see. Next deck. Is I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, like, throw some cards at y'all today. Because um, I'm really feeling it right now. And I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. Oof. Okay. Oh, Ace of Worlds. Success. Oh, so I feel like as some of this retrograde energy begins to station direct starting, you know, now and over the course of the next few months, we're going to start to see new beginnings crop up. Like with each one, it's going to be like a, a, a step closer in the right direction. It's going to help alleviate um, some of the heaviness that we felt lately. You know, it's going to help lighten us up a little bit. And so that's what I'm really feeling from this card is like we're going, we're going to see incremental changes. Um, you know, it's going to seem like a mess at first, but everything is coming into alignment. And I love that they're like two, it almost looks like, is that two Saturns? No, it can't be. But it makes me think of two Saturns and it's like, it seems like we're, we have to definitely remain vigilant and determined in terms of our, um, the, that, that long term, that endurance and in and, and keeping light that'll help us as everything kind of aligns, even though it seems like a mess. Seems like a mess, but it's our mess. <laughs> hmm. 
And any house that's a mess, it's because it's lived in. So I like to say that. Next card out is strength. Look at that. Eggs. Eggs have been popping up a lot for me. And that is just like mystery. You know, we have to be able to kind of make it through the unknown because every day, every day is, there's some element of the unknown and there's even more so. It's It's been really been amplified right now and it's kind of being used as a fear tactic against us, but how can we embrace the unknown and really allow it to strengthen us, allow us to carry, you know, to, to know that that uncertainty looms over us and us be able to carry, carry that and our, carry ourselves through it you know, in order to be able to have enough heart, to have enough endurance, to have enough sense of self, to know, to know where we are in order to keep, keep moving forward. And I feel like this also has a lot to do with the speaking our truth as well. Next one out is commencement, four of worlds. And when this comes up, it's 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 avoiding being too too strict, too stubborn, allowing time, you know, because this is a huge time of adjustment in which we're going to have to adapt consistently um, across across many months as all of these planets kind of, you know, sort sort out these energies and come back into realignment and begin moving forward and direct again. And part of part of that is we have to be adaptable. We're learning things. I'm I'm looking at this blade of grass and I'm thinking about how like when you put it between your thumbs and blow through it in order to make a whistle or a sound. And um, kind of being able to be our own kind of whistleblower to move slowly and to catch ourselves when we're not when we're not congruent with our own beliefs. A and when we're not acting from a place of integrity, um, when we're getting a little unorderly, um, or perhaps something doesn't feel right and it doesn't feel expansive or good to us anymore. Um, yeah, and I think that with this friend, friendship, friend, friendship, will help us be able to kind of keep ourselves in check because we'll have someone kind of going through the same thing, acting as our mirror in a way. And so when whatever advice we're um, open to offering or our, our friend accepts from us is something that perhaps we must take too. So yeah, I wanted to just kind of look through these again. Perseverance, trust, strength. Yeah, yeah, big time, big time. That That lines up, big time, yeah. Okay, so moving forward, let's see. I am going to pull a few Lenormand cards. I don't really read Lenormand that frequently anymore. Um, I used to when I first uh, started reading cards professionally, uh, reading tarot prof professionally specifically. Um, so let's see what the Lenormand cards have for us. And it's funny, again, I'm seeing like, as I close my eyes and shuffle, I'm seeing like um, the seagoat, like the Capricorn. And it's about we're having to be really claim responsibility for ourselves. Um, and again, like response ability. So how we respond to things and being adaptable and malleable in that, um, not being too strict or too rigid and being more flowing um, because this is moving from a place of being more regimented in our thinking into thinking more outside of the box, becoming more liquid, becoming more plasma-like to where we're charged and we're also flowing. Um, no longer kind of operating like we're like a battery within um within a system, but more of like um, that, that lightning bolt. Um, yeah, <laughs> sorry. All right, so here we have the ring. Thistle. Oh, and the mountain. This, I think that this is a lovely set of cards right here. Um, and so we, if the more we're committed, the more that we are committed 
to who we are naturally, the more that we're committed to um, really allowing ourselves to blossom into something new, um, and that kind of looks like an inchworm right here, and making steady progress without getting too riled up about the pace of things, um, the, the better we're able to receive um, certain gifts from the universe. There'll be certain synchronistic occurrences that happen as long as we don't get too worked up about things. Because remember with this humor card, you know, things, I've been talking about trickster energy a lot and I feel like that's kind of what comes in, comes into play. It's like you have to be willing to play devil's advocate and especially when it comes to your own inner processing. Um, because through that kind of devil's advocate trickster energy, it allows you to be, to play and be a little mischievous. And so it also brings like an element of, of, of clever, of cleverness, of, of wit. Um, it, it makes it very much like a game. And so you're, you're not taking it as seriously, but you're able to maneuver and manipulate things and position yourself in such a way that you're able to see truth on many levels and then choose something that is genuine to you without feeling like you're um, sacrificing or compromising who you really and truly are at your core. Um, because that, that is, that in itself is, is an, an inter eternal element that exists within you that cannot be destroyed despite whatever era we're in. So finding that quality within yourself and um, allowing yourself to tap into kind of this like chaotic neutral. Again, I love that chaotic neutral energy or chaotic good, um, what have you. But it's less chaotic and it's more so you're able to assemble seemingly um, um, different parts and allow things to kind of co coalesce in a more unique way that that allows um, for more heightened creative thinking and solution problem solving instead of being again in that rigid um, um, structure it's your and I don't want to say you're manipulating things but you're able to bend things and shape them and mold them in such a way and again this brings me back to to the Lilith the original you know the original the first woman and understanding that divine feminine and how how by through through the through the cycles of destruction and creation and questioning and challenging we can create something new because we're willing to um, get curious about it. Um, and that's ultimately what playing devil's advocate is, is having that sense of curiosity and sense of play within something because you care about it, but not caring so much that it becomes, um, an act of defense. Okay. Um, because yeah, because there's like, th that's how we can manage this obstacle ahead, manage this, um, you know, steady, steady ascent, um, the steady activation of humanity that's, uh, that's occurring. And uh, this makes me think of December 21st, um, or as we go into 2021, um, we'll start to kind of reach the, the climax or the, the high ground, so to speak, and all of this. Uh, so yeah, let's see, what else have we got here? Um, I'm going to pull... I'm going to pull a couple more, a few more cards. Okay. So, <laughs> of course, slow down, pause and allow things to unfold. I love that. We were talking about that earlier or else, or else we allow ourselves to get too caught up in things and we can end up reaching a dead end, you know, in a, in a game that's meant for the long term. Like that bridge back there too. I'm kind of looking at that. All right. So slow down. Allow yourself to rest. Also pay attention to your dream space. We have some Pisces energy here. Um, I forget something, something is in Pisces right now. Um, I believe, 
Uh, I don't remember off the top of my head, but allowing that more intuitive, dreamy side to kind of take place. Like when you, as you slow down, you're more present, you're more intuitive, you become more aware and able to see things. Um, the roads kind of open in front of you. Um, we have spiritual connection. A relationship has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime. I feel like this has to do with this, this current friendship. Perhaps it was faded in some way and you two were connected or now connected um, for, for this very time, for, for this very time frame, this very reason. Um, commencement, yeah. It's kind of your time to both kind of make change and interact in this world to, to open some type of um, energy up between you two, some type of energy exchange between the two of you. Um, that is that is extremely necessary for you both at this time. So if there's someone you've been that you've been thinking about and you haven't reached out to, it could be it could be worth doing so. As long as as long as this person isn't someone toxic from your past, I will say that. I will say that. Hm. Oh wow, I love you. These are powerful words. Again, this, this card came up um, in a, another collective reading earlier this week. And um, for those of you, I think, who watched my, might have been like lunar eclipse uh, reading, and I was talking about the harp, and I was talking about adjustment and harmony and making sure you're tuning in and you're staying, you're staying tuned in in order to continue to create harmony, that's where that slowing down comes in. And um, one thing I love about this card that I notice a lot of the time is I look at this crown, it reminds me of the Empress. So taking things from um, just being more natural in the way th that things play out, rising above confusion by slowing down and just accepting things as they are by taking time to be grateful for what you can be grateful for in that moment, in that day, whenever you feel yourself getting a little depleted, a little worn out, um, just allowing yourself to get back into that heart center really quick, you know, just allowing yourself to get back into that space. You can tap into that expansive energy so things can open up. You can continue to be curious, be playful, um, and to explore the many facets of love as they end up presenting themselves over the course of um, the next several weeks, next several months. Um, yeah. So that's all I have for you. I think, um, <laughs> if you, if you have any questions, um, or anything you'd like to say, or if you'd like to donate, please, um, please. I, I, I love doing these readings for you. I'd love to keep doing them. Um, um, and again, check out my Patreon if you haven't already, because we're doing some fun things there. And yeah, I will talk to you all soon. Bye.